Hi guys, good morning. Today is Saturday and my husband will change the oil of this car, the Toyota Avalon. This car is already being jacked up. So that's the tool that he's, he was using to jack it up. This is the kind of oil that he will be using. And also, when he will remove the oil, this is the oil pan. So to make it easier for him to, to put the, the used oil. And also he will be using this creeper. It's like a slide that he will use when he will be under the car. So he will lie down in this um, roller or creeper. So it's raining right now guys and despite of the rain so he has to change the oil because it's been like it's more than you know 5,000 mileage already. So he will start now the oil change so my husband will go under the car using the creeper. So he is removing something like a volt from the tank so the the used oil will be released Oh, that's the used oil it's really really black see that guys yeah that one it's coming out from the tank the pen is really full so he needs to open the thing. Oh, he forgot to open the the, the cap. So the the used oil will, will will be drained from the pan. There you go. So the oil guys has already been removed from the oil pan right there but then when my husband was trying to put back the drain valve there was a problem because the valve has a loose thread so my husband is trying to change the oil pan because of the loose thread now he found out that it was so very hard to remove the old pan of the 2005 Toyota Avalon. So he got a headache. Because this is only in the house guys. We don't have a shop to lift the car up. My husband tried to research from YouTube about how to remove the 2005 Toyota Avalon um, oil pan. So a lot of automotive technicians um, did the same thing that they they remove the oil pan by also removing the exhaust pipe which is very hard to remove my husband was thinking that what if he will not remove the exhaust pipe because there's a lot of stuff to do when you remove the, the exhaust pipe it's hard especially there was a you know an, a bolt to the inner part so it's, it was really hard to to remove so my husband was trying to remove the sensor the two sensor so my husband will say something about it because I cannot go under the car. <laughs> it's very hard. So usually in the YouTube, they are going to remove the pipe, the, the exhaust pipe, which is not necessary. Just remove the, the, just remove the sensor, both sensors of the pipe, this one and this one too, and also the oil, fil oil filter casing. Just remove it and then you can just wiggle the the oil pan until it drops 
it's a you don't need this necessary to remove the pipe exhaust pipe that's the important one because this is a very hard to remove especially the bolt and nuts here so just only removing this this two sensor and also the casing and then wiggle it and then that's it so yeah so my husband guys i have to congr congratulate him because he really removed the old the old oil pan of the 2005 toyota avalon because this this drain bulb is already low straight so we have to change the pan yeah it's very necessary to change the pan so thank you so much hubby it was really hard job but it was so successful for the removing of the old oil pan by just removing the sensor the two sensor not the exhaust pipe it now he will clean first the area guys This is the, this okay. So he will clean the area, and after cleaning, he will put the the, the new one. Remember, only this and this you can remove the pan, not the exhaust pipe. The filter casing. You have to remove it, and also this, and that's it. So that's the old pan, and he will change it to this new one. My husband, guys, will put the new pan right there because it's already cleaned. So he already put the gasket. Okay, hubby, there you go. So I cannot go under the car, so yeah. So my husband will put the sealant and tighten the bolts with torque specifications of 80 inch pounds or 7 foot pounds.